Welcome back to Geek It Plays Poser Tutorials for Beginners. In this lesson we're going to be talking about loading props. And we're going to take our favorite character, Alien Business, which can be purchased on the Geek It Play content store. We're going to load him up. And we're going to zoom in, see what's going on. All right. Now, alien business. There's all types of alien business. Part of that is Santa business. Uh, but another part is uh, well, we have the gangster business and professional business and maybe mobster business and then we've got secret agent business and we're gonna go into secret agent business today so we're gonna load up the right and left handgun and these are smart props in that when they're when they load into the scene they're automatically parented to uh, the right and left hands that's why they're called left hand gun and right hand gun and so we're actually going to apply a pose at this point and it's a pose I already created out of an adaptation from another pose and it works really well generally although it doesn't seem to be working very well now Hold on one moment. Okay, I'm not exactly sure why that happened, but it's a simple fix. We can just delete the guns that we have in there. And load in new guns, and it'll work just fine. It's a little bit irritating, but nothing we can't fix very quickly. alright so now that we've got our pose here and one thing to note too is that you can load these smart props um, you can load them in after you've already posed the model and they will be uh, they will fit the hand wherever it was with this specific figure the alien business props have been set up that way that may not be the case uh, with some props and so there might be some adjustment needed it's not difficult all you do is you come in here you can change scale rotate let's see let's select one of the guns you can s change the scale or the rotational values or the the translations which is where it is moved to and it's not it's really not too difficult if it's not if your item is not already parented to let's say we want to parent the gun which I'm having a hard time selecting let's parent it to the head all we'd have to do is come up here to the hierarchy editor and drag the P99 handgun to the head and then close it back up and watch what happens see so you can very quickly parent your props onto different parts of your figure and it's really quick and simple uh, it's a nice feature in Pope we're going to actually undo that. Select the handgun to make sure we did undo it. Check it up here in the hierarchy editor. Lo and behold, it's on the right hand. So we're going to close that out. Let's add some more props. Fun with props in this lesson. Let's add the right earpiece. 
or actually, yeah, the right earpiece. It's a little tiny earpiece because this alien has a little tiny ear. You know, maybe let's actually load that on. Let's load the left earpiece. You can probably see it better. And again, this is a smart prop, and so it is already parented to the head. Oops. All right, and let's load a, let's load his sunglasses. Those look fun. These again are smart props. You can see they follow. But if you wanted them to be skitty wampus, all you'd have to do is come in here and adjust it manually. Like maybe he just got hit or something. And they're kind of falling off his face. Let's grab him and drag him out here. Or maybe, let's actually delete this gun out of his hand. I can't select it. I'm having a really hard time selecting that gun. Again, if you have a hard time selecting anything, you can right click, go to the select menu, and choose the handgun. Or whatever you want to select. We're actually going to... Rotate these a little opposite of what they were. I'll actually drag them up a little bit for. Oops, wrong thing. I drag them up a little bit further. And let's put the hand in position. I know that doesn't look great. Right. Let's undo that. Oh, guess we can't undo that. So let's just take the side side off the hand. That fixes that. And let's move the arm up to the glasses. And let's do spread on the fingers to bring them back together. And grasp, and more thumb grasp. Maybe we'll take off some of this bend. And it's almost in position, so we'll actually change the glasses now to fit there. It's pretty close. That's good enough for the girls I go with. Alright, so maybe he's taken off his sunglasses. Now the problem we have here is that the glasses are still parented to the head and we want them to be parented to the hand you know because if we were to animate this we would want the glasses pulled away from the face by the hand we wouldn't want to have to animate the glasses individually from the hand or, or yeah the in, individually from the hand so what we do is we'd come in here and we'd see, oh, there's the sunglasses. We're going to parent it to the right hand. We'll just drag it over onto the right hand. 
and it's parented. So I, if I drag the arm away, it drags the sunglasses away. So again, it's it's real simple, real easy, a lot of fun to work with. Thank you for watching this video tutorial from Geek at Play Studios. Please visit us on the web at posertutorials.net for more upcoming videos. I'm Geek at Large, Jared Buchanan. Thank you.